Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. You know what men need to do? What the, the point of the women's movement is not to make everyone feminine. The point, as I understand it, is to make everyone whole. So what, what men need to do is reclaim the femininity that we've oh, lost. I can't believe you. I'm uh, the one who's sitting here in a skirt. You're the one who's dressed in very conservative male attire. You haven't begun to question anything about masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. We go back again to 1992 to the Fate Daniels Show. Yesterday we focused on PUA pickup artist Ross Jeffries. And today we focus on MRA men's rights activist Mel Fight wearing a skirt to make a point. This is Mel Fight. Mel says women say they want a sensitive guy, but the minute men get sensitive, women run the other way. And finally, Bruce Weinstein. Bruce says he is pro-feminist and pro-woman. He thinks men would be a lot better off if they only learned to listen to what women have to say. You can see that the audience composed only of women starts clapping when the pro-feminist says what they want to hear. And that's exactly the conflict the MRA is going to point out. Women don't want what they say they want. Fast forward 30 years and now we're armed with an abundance of evidence and statistics that solidly support this claim. He also disagrees with the PUA Ross Jeffries at times, which says a lot about the manosphere. And, and Ross is absolutely right. Women have a lot of sexual power and he has the courage to say that. He's making a mistake though. He's encouraging men to simply surrender to that power. And I think, you know, if you're a man and you follow Ross's advice, you're going to get more sex, but you're going to have less self-respect. There are, there are more important me, things though. in life right. than getting white. We all disagree on that point, but let me... The Manosphere is incredibly diverse with a wide range of topics and opinions. Shout out to Mr. Anderson. He sent us a brief letter to Ephenism and it fits well with this video. We will let Janice read it when we get to the part where the male Ephenist Bruce starts serving that feel-good Kool-Aid to the all-female audience. Fellas, we put links in the description. For the people that want to watch the full video, you can find the link in the description. Let's talk about it. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah. We men ain't we? Yeah. You're sitting here pointing your finger at him. Stand up and tell us why you're pointing at him. No, I was just saying that um, he's just got this prejudgment of what women are like and I think what he should do is just develop his own self and then he's gonna find these relationships the sleaze better. bag you see is the real me oh. I found the real me the, I, I think I think you've prejudged us I mean the, the, the audience reaction at the top of the show showed that the women here have prejudged us I think it's a sad comment on women that they respond to the kind of manipulative behavior that Ross is encouraging that men do that's a sad comment on you listen uh, yeah. and that's to be a, a yeah. right I, I, you know what I found oh my goodness it's obvious she and most of the women in the audience didn't listen and prejudge these guys we talk about the law of cause and effect on this channel listen to the opening statement meet Ross Jeffries he says he got tired of being mr. nice guy and being dumped by women so he changed his ways and he wrote a book for other men who feel the same way it is called how to get the women you desire into bed that's development the process in which someone or something grows or changes and becomes more advanced he was not getting the results he wanted that's why he changed this is the part these women overlook time and time again. And it's the MRA who's holding women accountable for accepting this behavior. Ross's arrogant attitude works with women. I think it's pathetic. Let's continue. And women through their behavior, through showing men what they actually respond to, force men to act in a certain <laughs> way. Yes, there, a is a power there is a power imbalance in our society, but who wields the power? It is men who wield the power, and I'm here to say, I'm, here today, room, to say, I'm here today to say that it is time for men to give up our power and authority and our privilege because we have dominated women, we have dominated other men, we have dominated the planet for too long, and it has got to stop. <laughs> They, they want to hear this. If women want, what you want is you want to hear that we're jerks. You want to hear that we have all the power. You know, the, the, the most important unspoken truth about men, 
He said, we are very angry. A lot of us are very angry at women. And this is a good example. You're showing why we're angry. You're not even listening. You don't want to listen to what we have to say. And well, I I'm afraid that they heard it. I don't, That's know. I don't think they heard it all. And I think, you know, the reason that men don't communicate about their anger, we, we keep it secret, is because when we try to tell you why we're angry, you respond with ridicule, with okay, disbelief, why are you angry? or your own anger. I'm not angry. I'm satisfied because I know how to manipulate women and get what I want. Fellas, you have every right to be angry. This is an MRA, men's rights activist. You tell me you wouldn't be angry if this happened to you. When a divorced dad was ordered to pay child support for a child who isn't his, a Tulsa man is ordered to pay child support for a baby that's not his. A First Coast man is in a fight with the state of Florida over court-ordered child support for a child he has proof isn't his. It's happening to men across Michigan. They are being forced to pay child support as dads by default. Doesn't matter if the men can prove the children are not theirs. Michigan law makes them pay anyway. You tell me. You wouldn't be angry if this happened to you. Now with the latest on Johnny Depp accused of domestic abuse and his sudden split from actress Amber Heard. Johnny Depp is throwing himself back into work after his estranged wife Amber Heard accused him of domestic violence. Last Monday, his wife Amber Heard filed for divorce citing irreconcilable differences. And then on Friday, she alleged that Depp abused her and she asked the court to issue a restraining order, which it did. You tell me. Your blood wouldn't be boiling if this happened to you. So where does your income come from now? Uh, now it comes from uh, child support. And how much is that per month? It's 25000 25000 yeah. okay. I definitely spend a minimum of a half a million a year in shopping. I believe money is meant to be spent. If I want to burn it, it's up to me. But there are many, 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 many things we can highlight when it comes to injustice to men because this system is crooked. That's why we started this channel to add to the collective of men's voices that need to be heard. He's absolutely right when it comes to the response of women when men talk about men's issues. Check this out. Yeah, I think that they just have had bad experiences with women, so they're just somewhat poisoned against women in general. The one in the middle who's in a dress, if you have such an attitude toward women and you feel how women are, why do you want so much to look like one? Wow. Well, I find this a little preposterous. You know, you're sitting there and you're putting us down to a certain extent, and what you fail to realize, both of you, okay, is that without your mothers, you wouldn't be here. Yeah. Yes, my question is directed to um, him. What's your name again? Ross. Ross. I think you're going to end up a very lonely man. I think that you're a very sad individual, let alone you're not even getting any people. Let's get real about it. Shaming tactics. They didn't provide any substance, just their good old shaming language. Because they feel attacked, because they are under attack. They know that if men figure out the truth and the laws change, women cannot get away with their parasitic antics. Paternity fraud, unjustified alimony and child support, false accusations, and the list goes on and on. It's an incredible amount of power. The man yes. asks, the woman says yes He's or no. She there. has the power and that makes, wait a second, let me make, a lot of men feel, you don't know this, but it's the truth, a lot of men feel powerless and degraded and dehumanized by the sexual system whereby the man asks and the woman decides. We feel harassed every minute of every day of our lives and it's about time that you understand that. When now, we look no, at wait, the... I'm sorry, one second. Bruce, Mel, stand up. <laughs> now, um, now, doesn't that invite harassment? No, what it invites is hypocrisy. What it invites is, you know, you're, the, the fashion rage for women this year is a man's suit and tie. When you decide to ridicule me in my skirt, you've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding, Faith. I don't like the length, and I don't think it matches the sweater is my problem well, with it. But now, wait a second. I said that when men, when men stand up for themselves, what do they expect from women? Ridicule. You proved it, didn't you? I you did. Proved, I'm did. guilty right here. I admit it. I admit it. You have a question. <laughs> this is pure gold. <laughs> Point proven again. The worst part is that she admits he's right and she just dismisses it as if it's nothing. 
This is exactly why men are angry. This is exactly why men are opting out. In one of the videos, I mentioned the quote-unquote boiling frog metaphor. 30 years later, look what's happening. I talked to a lot of young women and they also mentioned that the men who they were hoping to date were just not there. Exactly as you said, they were, you know, at home playing video games and watching porn or just not stepping up. And then talking to guys themselves, they almost seemed confused as to mm -hmm. what they were supposed to do. Like, are we allowed to talk to women? Are we not supposed to talk to women? I'm so confused. I guess I'm just not going to do anything at all. Men are not lost. They've seen the light. They understand that the juice ain't worth the squeeze. This has been going on for many, 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 many years. A lot of the early men that went their own way were once men's rights activists. I mean, what Excuse me, one thing the women's movement has taught me is to avoid speaking for other people. So I would, I, I would like to ask you, if you think that men need to change in some fundamental ways and do a better job at listening to you, please clap your hands. What smarmy? Wait a minute, do we have... This guy's like he's running... This guy's like he's running for office yeah, here. He knows know. there's something important for women to know about Bruce. We just you know, met. How do no, you know no, about him? But men? he's doing something that men have done for centuries to women, and it always backfires. He's putting you up on a pedestal. Uh, no, he's keeping you free no, from criticism. No. I respect you enough. to. No. If I think you're full of it, I'm going to tell you. He won't. You know what men need to do? What the, the point of the women's movement is not to make everyone feminine. The point, as I understand it, is to make everyone whole. So what, what men need to do is reclaim the femininity that we've lost. I can't believe you. I'm the one who's sitting here in a skirt. You're the one who's dressed in very conservative male attire. You haven't begun to question anything about masculinity. Do I want to put women on a pedestal so I can look up your skirts. I mean, I don't no, have any this problem. Is, this is absolutely... Ross is hilarious, man. <laughs> what Bruce, the effinist, is doing is exactly what effinism has done and still is doing. The MRA is right, it backfires. Look at the results 30 years later. Now here is where the letter of Mr. Anderson comes in. A better mousetrap. Dear Ephinus. Dennis, read with a male voice please. Dear feminists, empowering women while simultaneously disenfranchising men will not free women from the limitations of their biological proclivities and inherent nature. Empowering women while simultaneously disenfranchising men will not extinguish the biological imperatives or innate characteristics of men, characteristics such as assertiveness, industriousness, risk-taking, aggression, and the instinct to prioritize reason, nor will it transpose these characteristics onto large groups of women. Empowering women, while simultaneously disenfranchising men, will not replace successful men with a group of women who envy them. Empowering women, while simultaneously disenfranchising men, is an attempt to create an environment that is easier for women and more difficult for men, which will lead to one inevitable outcome, the evolution of better, stronger men. Building a better mousetrap merely results in smarter mice. Charles Darwin you know, and, and I used to be more feminist than most feminists. And I consider myself a recovering feminist now because now I see, now I see how women react. Anytime a man stands up for himself, this is what you do. It's disgusting. Man, that's where we work in. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted. highlighted.